can be to a theater near you. And welcome back. So, I got some little M.2 standoff clips for my Super genius. Expansion card. So I can finish putting these two in there. And I'm going to put, can't see it, but it's a single card in there I'm going to put it in there too. So let's get started, shall we? No. It does come with. Uh, Tiny little screwdriver, and then as you can see a bunch of different sizes. So I'm going to use this one right here. Let's sort of spread these out. This right here, is what I'm going to use. Very tiny. Should work though. So let's get my. I got it. I fix it. Get it. And get started. All right. This shouldn't be too too bad. Super genius. I don't think. Perfect size. All right. So basically, well, um, I kind of needed these these screws and standoffs. Um, I think I put the wrong ones in the motherboard, but it's okay. All good. All good. But this will give me, like I said, I already have one Cheater. here that I, I stuck in. Take this apart. What does happen? And back to cards. Awesome! Still, right there. As you can see, I have one in there. Crucial. P3 plus. All right, let's put the other one in. Let me get the standoff first. I think I'm going to be using one. I don't think I'm need it. Where was I? I probably used the screw that it comes with. Bingo! Pull that card out of the future. Ah! 
She is. So, it does have a heat sink on it. Hmm. I have to pull that out. Let's see. We'll put that right. This, I don't know, take out, I think I have to take, oh, this off, this is my single NVMe, which works really well, put that right over there.
there we go. Now I have to take these off again, which is really a pain. Okay. Yippee! Just put it on top. Flip it over and start screwing it in. Not too bad. Gaming, editing, probably better for editing. Oh, really? Slide this in here. So, What's the matter with you? Set you free. Man. Never a dull moment. Use metals. Thank you. 
So, I have it back and running, and I moved a few things around. What is the matter with you? Um, originally, the RTX 4080, I didn't think I could fit up here. I thought it was hitting the bracket, but it, it's not. It actually fits. This is very tight. Uh, I can't even tell this running but um, I think at some point this card will move down here this will get replaced with a smaller card and I can move this sorry I'm not even filming I can so basically what I'm gonna do is replace this card with a smaller 4080 move it up here move this up one and then take this and move it down here. And I should be good. Well, whistle me Dixie. So, that is the plan. Let's see if I can get DaVinci Resolve back up and running. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm getting into the BIOS here. So, basically, what I'm trying to do is find the PCI Express card that the MVME extension card is in, which I believe is five. Super genius. As you will see shortly. I'm a little bit slow in my old age. Doo -doo. Um, so when you get to those settings, you can almost see them up there. PCI Express four, five, six, seven. You can kind of see them. You pick the slot. And you change it six it has three options 16 times eight by eight and raid so of course uh the raid was the one you set it at because that it doesn't show yes good job ray good job you're so smart super uses a manual. I mean, who uses a man okay anyways so basically, you can't quite see, you can almost see it there. There is no 4x4x4, four by four by four, so it's a little confusing. It just says 16 times, which is graphics card. 8x8, eight eight, which you could do... I'm sure what you need that with, but anyway. And then RAID. So, anyways, RAID is the is the way to go that's where if you have four nvme in your expansion slot card you have the raid and you have four times by four times by four times which you know is bad uh let's see all right well let's try that if you have four cards let's see what you know, PCR Express 4.0, um, that runs, I think, it's, let me see, let me look that up real quick. That runs at, um, about 5,000 megabits per second. Read and write, I believe. Um, so that's not bad for, you know, you can have, like I said, you can get four of these cards times three is 12 which I have um, if you 
have four, obviously it's four times four, that's 16 terabytes of PCRXS 4.0 running at 5,000 megabits per second transfer speed. So it's it's a good idea. Okay. Uh, it definitely so, helps. All right. Hear me. Let's get back into the video. Um, so what I'm going to do is you type in here. Disk All right, damage. so just really quick, I only have two of the cards showing because obviously um, I didn't set to RAID. So if I wanted to show you kind of how to set up the drives once Windows recognizes them. So I'll show you. Okay, here we go. Four and five, so it's showing two, which, like I said, it's eight by eight. So I'm still going to have to see how I get four by four by four on this. So you want GP2, I mean GPT, not master boot record, you want GPT, click OK, and it should allocate, there you go, these two right here, let's see that, so basically just right click on it, and click new simple volume, like so, click next, I usually need this whatever it says assign on letter again it's fine um, yeah so we got rid of this one more quick fix put uh, let's Finish. Quick format. And then it should come up. Right there. There it is. Let's see if I can go to. A few moments later. I'm back in Windows, as you can see. Yeah, my drives are here. Project 1. Project 2, and I actually renamed it Project 3. And then this is the drive that was already there. Gamers 2, that which I have. That's all catch for and all that stuff. So that's a hundred and thirty two gigs. Let's bring up Resolve. I kind of want to clear that. But all here, as you can see, it works. Transfers files. I have large files. Steam library. Um, projects. I guess I could do that. Server. That's about 13 gigs. So basically, I'm going to. This is my project to zero drive which is basically my NVMe storage on my PCI Express extension card. And this one, I'll just pick one. This drive is in my PCI Express 4.0 expansion card that's in my computer. It's in the PCI Express, I think, fifth slot, which is times 16, so four times four. So basically, this one is, this one is, this one is, this one is. This is my catch drive, my DaVinci Resolve. Which do I have? A terabyte of catch. Okay, so let's transfer server build real quick. Let's see what my speeds are. Look at that. Dang, that's fast. Pretty fast. Okay, let's delete this. All right, let's go to my another uh, PCI Express 4.0. Transfer this. Four gigabits per second. Dang. 
Tes, tes. Okay. Funny how, oh, this is, you know what? This drive is a 4.0. Actually, yes, I think it's a NVMe 3.0 drive. That's why. So, there you go. All right, so let's do the project drive. It should be probably 4. Point, yeah, 4 qubits per second. Yep, pretty fast. Let's delete that. And let's get rid of these files. Done deal. So there you go. You have those speeds are really fast. So this is a standard SSD drive, which I think is about 500 megabits per second. Yep. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's about right. Oh no, it's dropping. It kind of goes up and down, but. That's a standard SSD drive. I think it's a Samsung 850, whatever it is, regular 2.5 inch. So you get 500 megabits, so that's correct. That's not too shabby. It's only 30 gigs, but let's delete that. All right, and then these are my external drives. So let's try this one. See if this is actually woken up here. It's an external USB. Actually, let's do we'll do master. This should get about 200 megabits per second. It's a USB 3.1, I believe. Yeah. So there you go. So as you can see, the internal PCI Express 4.0 drives are much, much faster between the two drives. Uh, even the transfer speeds to a regular SSD drive is pretty, pretty, pretty good. So, well, anywho, the drive transfer speeds for the new server build want to show you guys that so hope you enjoy let's just cancel that and delete this all right we'll see you guys in the next one Thanks. Yes.